All right, I'm going to show you guys a quick and dirty how-to for uh, flashing a new map onto your Diavel with the Toon Boy kit. The plug you're going to look for under the seat is this one. There's two connectors. This one's for the charger. The thicker, more square one is your diagnostic cable that you're going to use for the Toon Boy. little cap comes off, exposing a four-prong um, waterproof connector. The Toon Boy connector hooks into that. With the Toon Boy plugged into your computer with the USB, um, you'll see the MTS and power light. MTS will flash like this when the bike's not on. Is you turn the bike on first. And then you open the Flash Mitsubishi program. And the dash of the bike will flash strangely and it says device ECU when you've got this connected up. So don't freak out about that, it just means you've got a diagnostic cable hooked up to your bike. So what you'll do is you'll select your tune file. I've already got the folder open where my tune files are. Um, and I've got Cruise and Tune V1, so open that. Now what you do is apply trim table to tune is on the right hand side. Now I've already unlocked my ECU. Um, you're going to have to go through a series of like on offs with the bike if you have not unlocked your ECU yet and you'll have to send Tune Boy your, um, your vehicle code. But I'm going to first pick a, a trim and it seems like the Zard underscore one is working. And then the interesting thing is with the latest Toon Boy, you can actually do up to three maps. So for my second map, I'm going to do the Fish Archer Toon. Now if you wanted to, you could do three, but these are the two that are working for me just fine. So the, uh, the Zard map with the Competition Works pipe works pretty well. The bike runs pretty smoothly. So I'm going to have that. And then the Fish Archer map is the other one that... Uh, I got from Jono and his friend Fish Archer did some dyno tuning in Australia and it's got a lot of power in the high RPMs. Um, I still need to get my bike um, tuned on a local dyno to make sure that it's running right with that tune but now you just do flash map and ECU and you'll have two maps. Now if you wanted to do the third one you could but um, I'm just going to do these two because it's what's working. So first off it's erasing the flash that's on the bike and um, then it starts programming the flash and you'll see the percentage there. Now if you're having battery issues where your bike is automatically shutting off um, you can use the up and down buttons for the tack to uh, just cycle stuff and it'll keep the bike on. If you've got a low battery your bike is more likely to shut off but I just do this like every few percentage complete I just click the button and that keeps the bike from going into sleep mode or shutting itself off from being on for too long without being used. And you just wait for the flash to complete. We're at 95, 96, a home stretch. And it's finalizing right now. There it goes. Bike is flashed. It says download complete, turn bike off and on. So. Turn the bike off. And you don't really even need to turn the bike back on because it is flashed. And here's what the tacks look like when you restart. Oh, it's locking. So, exactly the same. Now, I'm going to show you real quick what the map switching looks like. Okay. So, now in order to map switch, you pull in the clutch. Actually, first you go full throttle, and that shows you that you're on map one. And then to switch maps, you pull in the clutch, and now it's on map two. That's map two. Map one, map two. And the headlights will flash, as you can see up there. That's map two, map one. And it actually stays on whatever map you set, so you don't need to worry about it resetting or doing anything strange. There are diagnostic modes um, that you can live flash a map onto your bike and uh, then keep the bike on and then run down the street test out the map 
and then when you shut the bike off it dumps that map. I never use that though because honestly, um, I don't know, they might use that when I get my bike dyno tuned, but they're going to be doing it bit by bit. So I don't think that, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess if you're live tuning, you're out on the road, you've got your laptop with you, it's useful, but I'm not exactly sure when I would use that. So anyway, that's how you uh, flash the bike. And you want to make sure you have battery tender hooked up. I've got a little cable that I've installed. Um, that just keeps your battery topped off. Uh, when I was getting my ECU code and everything, I forgot to do this step. And the bike actually died halfway through flashing a tune. And uh, <clears throat> it, doesn't, it doesn't mess up the bike or anything. You just have to charge the bike up. And um, then when it's charged up, you just flash it all over again. So, you just want to make sure to have your battery topped off and uh, be safe. I don't think I'm even going to leave this toolkit in here. So, hope that helped you guys. If you have any questions, I could do more in-depth videos, and I plan to down the road. When I get my bike dynoed, um, dyno tuned by SBK Corsa when they get done with their shop, um, getting the dyno room done, I will do a full vlog on that and talk about their process and everything. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, want to see future videos, just let me know. I know this has been a long time coming with this one, so hope it helps. I'll see you guys later.